thank you so much for like coming to this late session. It's a packed house late in the day, so I really appreciate it. I'm super excited to be here. And, and as Albert said, we, we did hack the thing. I was gonna give a 15 minute presentation. We were at the Blah Blah Car party, had a couple of drinks, and we're like, hey, let's do this together. So that's what we did, and I think it'll be better for everyone. So um, what we're gonna do is, is um, I will give some context about the Sharing City movement, how from our perspective at Shareable, um, this got rolling, and, and who, are, who are some of the players, and what is, uh, um, what is happening, and, and, uh, and then each of us will give a case study. So um, Nils Roman of Sharing City, uh, Nam Meng, thank you, <laughs> and uh, thanks Chris, um, and uh, uh, Harmon uh, Van Sprung of uh, Sharing, Sharing City Amsterdam. So each will give a, uh, a case study, we'll have a little Q&A to find out what's going on there, right? And, and I will talk about, uh, uh, because I'm connected with um, Sharing City Seoul, which is this incredible project, um, I'll, I'll talk about what's going on there, I've got the latest news. Um, and, and so, um, then, then, um, then I'll just wrap, wrap up with some, some observations and then we can go, you know, have a drink together or something, right? Um, well, well for, share, for Shareable, it all started um, May 2011 um, with an event we held uh, called Share San Francisco. And uh, Share San Francisco was an, you know, a one day unconference conference uh, that, um, that uh, um, we brought um, many stakeholders in the city together, city government, some sharing projects and, start, and, and startups, um, and also NGOs. Um, and, we, and for the first time, uh, I, I believe, um, we brought together the idea of sharing and cities um, as a systemic um, a solution to the biggest crisis we have in cities and also society. Um, Environment on the one hand, uh, and uh, global warming, and economy, and inequality on the other hand. That uh, sharing could be a systemic address to this, and that we could reimagine that the, the organizing question of that day was, um, how can we amplify um, San Francisco as a platform for sharing? And, it, and for us, it was, start, it was the start of articulating um, a new vision of what a, could, a city could be. Um, instead of the sort of corporate narrative of a city as a, as a marketplace, we were starting, beginning to explore in a public way um, and the, uh, you know, city, the city as, as a commons, as a place where peers work together to provision their lives and manage the resources they need to create great lives and great communities. Now this, um, we, you know, Lisa Gansky keynoted, we were really inspired by her, by her because she had been talking even uh, before this about cities as platforms for sharing. And, and, uh, and we also had Jay Knapp, uh, the chief innovation officer of, of San Francisco came. He got really fired up about this, um, started talking to the mayor we began educating the mayor's office about what was happening with sharing and the sharing economy and the potential for San Francisco and cities in general. Uh, we did a round table with them. Um, they uh, asked us to help them launch the sharing economy working group. Um, and this was in, uh, and they launched it um, in March 2012. And, and that, that was the first um, thing, you know, sort of move by any city to take action around the sharing economy. And it was a regulatory focus. Uh, create a sharing friendly San Francisco. They ended up not doing a whole lot actually and got criticized for it, but it had a huge impact. Uh, um, the news media came out in droves. It was the biggest, uh, um, it, it was held at Spur, which is the leading urban think tank in the Bay Area of San Francisco. And they have this big, beautiful headquarters that are a 100 year old organization. Um, and it was the most attended event in their history. Uh, the news media, as I said, turned out in droves. It got big, big international press coverage, we were really kind of blown away by it. It was riding also on that wave of news about the sharing economy that was just starting to break, right? And, um, and, and what happened later that year in September, I believe, is that um, Mayor Park in Seoul launched his Sharing City 
um, program, Sharing City Soul. And this, you know, so this put Sharing City idea really on the map, a, t a mega city of 10 million people um, that has, has grown so quickly and, and also, you know, been very successful in some ways. You know, the miracle on the Han is what it's called. Um, but also this has generated all kinds of social problems. And, and you know, the mayor was really seeing sharing as an address to these, uh, the, to these problems. And I'll, I'll tell you more about it, but about it later. We followed it up um, in, okay, sure. I was just getting a little bit of feedback, so just trying to be careful about that. Um, so, so we launched a, a policy guide, uh, you know, a, f a few months later in 2013, and then in December, of 2013, launched the Sharing Cities Network. We uh, did a crowdfunding campaign. We were generously supported and by WeShare and, we, and, and our community raised $50,000. And then in the next 18 months, um, did a bunch of distributed events uh, to help build a basis for a strong sharing cities movement in cities around the world. And about 80 groups in 80 cities got involved. Um, and reaching an estimated 20,000 people in total during, during that time. And there was, these were like mapping events, mapping the commons events, and also share fest, and uh, also many other types of events. And um, you know, after that, I mean, what the observation there um, that we saw with other cities coming on board, other local groups coming on board, um, city government starting to do stuff, is that a real sharing cities movement was unfolding um, and, you know, kind of the theme of, the, of our talk today is that, uh, and what the case studies um, will show, is that um, cities and civic groups have interpreted this idea of sharing cities in many different ways to, you know, really adjust for their context, to make it work for their context. context. And, and that's what we're going to explore. 